you head outside the the uh, the archive once more and, and follow down this path where the the halfling inside the the archives essentially told you that there is an an alchemist and uh, you come up on this sort of like a back alley the the houses are definitely closer together there isn't there's barely room for a wagon to to drive through here um not a lot of people at this point uh, a few people going seemingly to and from their homes and potentially towards the inn uh, it seems like the common people of of Sindar don't really care much for the for the archives but they don't seem to mind it either and uh, up ahead at the end of this uh, this uh, this this alley so uh, you see uh, what looks to be a ramshackle shack a small it's, it's a bit bigger than the average tool shed you'd see in in gardens and such and it definitely looks like someone could do with the it, the the boards that make up the roof are sitting crooked and it definitely doesn't appear to be good housing Hmm. Well, first of all, how late is it now? Well, it's about 5 p.m. High noon. <laughs> mm, no. No. <laughs> Denied. No, I was just wondering if it would be proper to show up at this time. That was why I wanted to ask. Um... And you're sort of looking at you expectedly like, you would take the lead here, essentially. <laughs> but she has been staying a bit behind you for, for pretty much the entire time, so. So what do you do? Yeah. There isn't any windows to this. It, it looks very much like a small shed. And definitely a lot smaller than <laughs> any other of the buildings. Well, I would like to go over there and knock on the door. And Just... uh, it, it, the door also seems to be... It, it's definitely, carefully. It's definitely, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely <laughs> made in the same... It. It's definitely made in the same style and quality as the rest of this shit. And uh, as you knock, it's essentially... It's not... It doesn't fall off its hinges, but it definitely it it definitely opens with the top hinge sort of whinging a bit as, as you do. It seems like it has not been oiled well or is is crooked from uh, from weathering, and um, and the door sort of opens like you could probably stick your head in just from from you knocking. It seems like this door can't really be locked properly, and um, you look into this this dark sort of. It, it smells a bit odd in here. There's, there's a mixture of spices and, and mildew at the same time. And the, you see sort of plants hanging from, from planters up uh, along the roof, sort of reaching down to the bottom. It, it seems very much like it, it's as close to overgrown as it pretty much can get. And you also hear in from the back somewhere. Uh, this, this, it appears to be a lot larger on the inside than what it actually it seemed like uh, just from looking at it. And you hear, so hear sort of a shuffling and uh, a voice comes out, Yes? Who's there? <laughs> um, a traveler who, uh, who, who seeks some information. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Sort of see like like a bush being pushed to to the side. And it's like this, this small small elderly human male coming out and looking looking like he's definitely he's hunched over and sort of supporting himself by a cane. And he's look looks up at you like yes. You will have to excuse me. I'm a little deaf. Um, I would like to take out the book and ask him if he would have any idea of what the yeah, yeah sticky as, stuff as, <laughs> as, as, as you pull this, the book out essentially and, and holding it out towards him he sort of shuffles off a lot faster than you would expect it sort of like sort of going up and essentially what, what, if you're holding it out at, at like hip height he's essentially that's that's a, right above where he's headed so he's very very small for a human 
uh, he sort of, sort of like snatches the book pretty, pretty, pretty violently, actually, for, for a man of what appears to be his age. And then grabs the book and then he's like, this is weird. <laughs> That's like, not my character laughing. It's <laughs> just, <laughs> to, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he seemed to be studying this this book very closely and, and, and sniffing to this this black cover. Any hit? Maybe sort of makes a lot of investigative, but not really really actual noises that you can't really discern what he, what he, if he's trying to say something meaningful. He sort of looks at it. Yes. What do you want to know? Do you know? What is keeping the book closed or stuck together? Are you, are you interested in the book? Oh, yeah, I thought you were interested in the rat. Right. Well, that, well, that, oh, well, that, 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 he sort of shuffles back and he's like, you can hear him pushing stuff over. There's definitely some jars that be pushed on the floor and shattering as he does. He doesn't seem to have too much of, of not essentially a shop, it's more like, he lives there and studies there and whatever it is that he actually does. And he's sort of like, sort of like, yes, 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 yes. And sort of comes out with a, with a small, almost, almost glass jar. It seems like the, the, and inside you see a similar black, uh, black matter essentially in the bottom of this glass jar. Yes, 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 yes. This, this is, this is mage rot. Very, very potent stuff. <laughs> Can I have it? He sort of looks up at you very expectantly, like clutching the book as in one hand, like, <laughs> this is very interesting to him. He doesn't seem to be too interested in the actual book itself, but it seems like black stuff is something interesting to him. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> interested in the black stuff on the book. Is it possible to remove the black stuff? Without damaging the book. That, but without damaging, he sort of seems to be staring up at, at, at <laughs> some sort of. He, he, Why would you not damage the book? <laughs> he, he really doesn't seem to care about the book. So he's like, mm, well, it, it, mm, well, Mage Rod is. I could. I, it can be done. Yes, 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 yes. But mm, it's expensive. Yes, yes, it's very expensive. It, it takes a long time. You, you, you need, you need, you need, you need a salve to, 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 he sort of seems to, seems to almost break into a stuttering that almost carries on for a good minute where he's, he's just trying to get out the words, like, he's really, he's really excited about this. <laughs> uh, and and Nira, Nira behind you, you can, you can hear her sort of taking a step back towards the exit of this, this shed. This is perhaps too weird for her, and he's sort of like, yeah, I, I, I can make it. It will take time. Yes, I can make it. I can make it. Hmm. He seems. You seem rather interested in this black goop. I, I, I could always add it to my collection. <laughs> how much and how much time? He sort of looks at looks at the book for the size of this amount of the. We'll need some ingredients and then work hours at fifty gold. <laughs> yes, he sort of looks expected, and you're like, "Are you going to pay that now?" Because then you. I would like my book back, and I will think about it. He looks very sad at this. Not so much because you're not paying him, but more that he is losing the black goop that he was very interested in. Sort of. He realizes that he probably shouldn't be keeping it when you've, you, you see, he realizes that you are the owner of this book. Though he would really want it for the sake of the group, he is not, he's not going to steal it from you. He's just like, handed it back, hands it back. Well, well, if you, if, 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 if it's still interesting, you know where I live. That I do. <laughs> Was that all? Yes, that was all right. all right, he sort of shovels back into the uh, digs in behind this bush that he came out from before and just leaves you in this very <laughs> weird place. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
and, and at this point, Mira is almost almost out the door. Like, I am not dealing with that guy. Yep. <laughs> well, I am done with what I wanted to do, so I shall okay. take my leave. 